Operation Wood is an investigation, a proactive operation, which was implemented really to deal with um, an organised crime group which had uh, been in existence in Ellesmere Port involved in the distribution supply of Class A controlled drugs. The head of the crime group, the leaders, two brothers, Sean and Anthony Gregerson. Second in command, if you want to say, an organiser certainly, was Lee Haddock. Dropping down the hierarchy of that crime group, we then come to manufacturers and distributors. Michael Trong, um, a supplier, John Donoghue, um, manufacturers and those people who are involved in courier activities for the crime group, William Jones and Paul Head from Ellesmere Port. And we come then to those people who are recruited perhaps for um, courier activities on, on lesser occasions. Robin Cartwright, Michael Buggy, both acted as couriers um, taking Class A drugs up to Lancashire police area. Um, and there are cross-border couriers. Carl Birch, for example, came in from North Wales police area and um, he took a quantity of, of cocaine back to North Wales and, um, and he was arrested and, and he's been sentenced. On the 16th of December 2009, efforts were made to stop Sean and Anthony Gregerson, um, who we believed may be in possession of a quantity of, of Class A drugs. The footage from the Cheshire Constabulary aircraft shows the manner in which they behaved in response to our efforts to stop them. It shows their determination in escaping and evading the stop um, by a marked police vehicle. It shows a pursuit of their vehicle and it shows how organised they are in splitting up, in trying to pursue a, a route to try and escape police capture. It also shows their determination in disposing of that kilo of cocaine in a manner which had the aircraft not been uh, with us, that in all likelihood they may have tried to come back and collect that. We have dismantled that crime group. Um, the sentences which we have received um, from the head of the crime group down to the most infrequent courier have been really, really good and supportive and show that those involved with that serious crime will get substantial custodial sentences. Within Operation Wood, the disruption activity took the form of, of arrests, um, searches, uh, money being seized, uh, vehicles being seized and, and charges. Now of 29 people we've arrested, 18 of those people have been charged with serious drugs offences, either conspiracy to supply, supply or possession with intent to supply offences. So we've searched um, somewhere in the region of 32 homes and business premises. We've searched over 22 cars. Um, of those cars, we've seized 10 of them and we will seek to forfeit them and make sure that those criminals no longer have the use of those cars. We've seized and forfeited over £24,000 already. We are supporting and progressing financial investigations into these individuals and their families to try and ensure that the profits they have made from their business aren't available for them to live a lifestyle when they finish their custodial sentences. And the success of this operation revolves around specialist teams within Cheshire Constabulary working hard together in response to a level of intelligence which is generated from our community. Without that level of intelligence, we are unable to focus our activity as effectively as we would want to.